stress. Patience. Bring out the Zen baby. So I had this conversation over the weekend about drugs. And it's like, well, like what's a drug? Is alcohol a drug? Is weed a drug? Okay, well then let's even go if we're really gonna talk drugs. It's like, well, it's really about what affects your head and could cause bigger problems than just your system be affected. And then this other person offered the idea that, well, not necessarily because a drug is something that affects your system. So a stimulant like caffeine is a drug on some level, right? And um, I don't know, you know, like the definition of a drug, does it have to be illegal? Does it not? Because alcohol is legal, marijuana is somewhat legal now, caffeine has always been legal, sugar is legal, sugar affects, I know people that like consume massive amounts of sugar and they're nut jobs because they don't eat anything else, right? And they, there were studies, been studies done with like rat rats where they like give them a bunch of sugar or artificial sugar and the rats like lose their shit. Um, or they try and like, fuck other rats like crazy bunnies and stuff like that. Anyway, I don't know if that's really true. I sort of made that up for a fact. But here's the point. I live my life like where I've really, you know, kind of pared it down. You know, how do I do the work I want to do and not have to answer to somebody I don't like, right? That that would stress me out. You know, um, how have I helped? How, do, how have I tried to improve myself so that the partner, like intimate partner I spend time with is someone I like being with that doesn't stress me out with their stuff, you know? How have I tried to just like improve my life, help people so I feel purposeful and useful. So I'm not in a situation where I'm like, ah, oh, this job is killing me. I have no control. I'm so miserable. And I'm like married to the golden handcuffs of the paycheck, right? So I very infrequently have these moments, days that are like today where I'm back to back to back to back. I don't even like, I, right now I'm even thinking about like, okay, wait a minute, we're at two minutes. Like, I wanna finish this up early because I gotta get to the next thing. And I also drank too much coffee. Now, I'm a hyper energetic person, so hence it's not like I'm more hyped up than normal. In fact, I, I kind of hit a peak with caffeine and then I start going down the other side where I become almost like docile. <laughs> it's odd. Um, but here's the thing, it's really stressful to be stressed. And it's hard to find patience when, like, I was really impatient with my poor little kitty cat this morning. So for those of you who have, like, you know, children and husbands and bosses and pets that are just not doing what you want and it's causing you aggravation and frustration and stress, I get it. I've always gotten it. It's not like that's a big thing. It's not like I've never had a job where I'm stressed out, right? But it's just so funny how, you know, when you, when you, when, I think this is the case for a lot of people, I'll speak for myself having changed my life and tried to develop my life and both spiritually, professionally, personally, all the above, emotionally, um, you know, don't experience stress, even when I'm tight on time, even when I'm running late, you know, I don't experience stress. But today I had real live moment to moment experiences of stress where I'm like, when can I go take a run? When's the laundry going to be done? When's the next phone call? And it was really like at one point, like, uh, and that was so weird. That was so weird. Anyway, and I'm only bringing this up because I know people live like that, like day to day to day with no break, no relief. No, and it's kind of like, man, you know, we gotta, yeah, we, and I'm gonna say we, like as a human race, gotta find peace, gotta find serenity, gotta find ways to like bring it all down and just be like moment to moment, it's all good. Moment to moment, it's gonna be all right. You know, moment to moment, what do I have to do next instead of, oh my God, there's so much and I can't handle it because the truth is, is when you pile things on in a way that you can't handle, it is stressful. It's supposed to be stressful. So we're all running around like coming up with apps and new ways to alleviate stress and it's like, we're fucking creating it like again and again and again and again in our lives, like creating it, adding to it, piling more stuff on, acting like nobody else can do it. And that it, like just that energy is so lacking in usefulness and so lacking in, in health. That stress to carry that energy around will affect your health and your lifespan and your, your ability to enjoy your life in the short or long term. I mean, it's been proven again and again and again. So anyway, patience, stress, frustration, let's try and figure out how to like zen ourselves out of that stuff. Little by little, little by slowly in whatever ways you can. You know, nobody's different. Nobody's going to change overnight. Nobody's perfect. Anyway, I just had a little unique experience like that today that I wanted to share. So, and of course, I'll say this is that if you have a problem with stress that you can't let go of and you're out of control, 
email or call me, Nicole at Nicole Devlin, and have a great day.